Hi, my name is Trey Diller, co-founder of Inspire Productions. And I'm Mike Nyam, and I'm also a co-founder of Inspire Productions. Me and Mike actually met in 2008 at Wofford College. Um, I went up there out of high school to play football, and that's where I met him, and we hit it off right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, we hit it off. We were, uh, we were teammates. We were roommates, actually, and then... Trey ended up transferring. He went back home to uh, Sam Houston State. I stayed at Wofford. Um, we still kept in touch throughout that whole time. Um, obviously, the paths were different, uh, but you know, after school, we both had a shot at the NFL. Uh, we both had a quick, uh, how do I say? Stint. <laughs> yeah, we had a quick stint with the NFL. Uh, and then we were both kind of looking for what's next after football. Um, I chose to get into sales. Uh, he chose to get into events. And uh, my sales career uh, eventually led me to Dallas, and where that's kind of where we reconnected. And uh, I started taking over the Houston territory. I was traveling down to Houston and the Woodlands. Uh, and at that point, he was putting on Beyond the Pines uh, Music Festival. And that's where I kind of got into seeing what event production was all about and fell in love with it. Uh, and then within a few months, I moved to the Woodlands and went all in on Inspire Productions. And so we have uh, we've done nine events together now. Uh, and yeah. uh, we got 12 events scheduled this year. Yep. So started uh, started in high school, actually, I guess, the safest way to say, throwing parties at my parents' house um, after high school football games. Started bringing a lot of people over and having a good time. and. That led me to college, uh, where I started making a little bit of money doing it, actually charging people to get in the door of my house. Uh, I'd, I'd buy all the alcohol, and they would come in and drink whatever they wanted, and uh, I'd, I'd make a little bit of money. And so after I got out of college, NFL ended, and I was like, well, you know, I want to pursue this full time. I like bringing together large groups of people and letting them have a good time. And I did a sneaker show actually in 2015 called the Woodland Soul Expo over at Legend Sports Complex. Uh, successful turnout, had a couple, a little flip, and Trinidad James come out and perform. Um, that, was, that was a good start to it, and the uh, sneaker game kind of died quick. Um, and then Beyond the Pines, I, I attended an event out in Steamboat Springs in 2015, 2016, and um, came back here and was just inspired um, about, about doing an event. And Woodlands is really no better place to do a, an event because there's not a lot of um, family-friendly events taking place that are different. Um, you know, they have all the township events that, that take place, but they're not put on by a, a third party company like we are. And we bring in different aspects of every single event with the music and the entertainment and the vendors and so forth. And um, Beyond the Pines, even though we had bad weather, um, still a successful turnout. And then after that event, I did a, uh, Truck or Treat, which was the Halloween themed food truck festival, brought in close to 10,000 people, had two and a half hour lines. And that's when it was kind of like, well, you know, let's, let's pursue this full time. And I, that's when I was doing it by myself. And it was just way too much work for, for me to do. It takes an entire team to win championships. And um, he came down, he did more work than uh, some of the people that were helping us with the events that were getting paid. and. Um, he fell in love with it and you know he's one of my best friends in the world and it's like you know let's let's stick around a little more and see see what happens with this and um so we did a food truck festival in conroe in december it was uh, the coldest day of the year actually and so it wasn't the greatest turnout but it was still a success uh just just learning all the components of, of the events that take place and um he's a, he's a sponge he learns quick and it, he absorbs it all in and uh, very smart dude. And so um, we did, uh, last year we did eight events. Yeah. We did eight events and uh, when he quit his full-time job to pursue this full-time with me, we, we haven't looked back since. And that's where Inspire Productions was formed. Yeah.
All right, some things to look forward to for 2018. Uh, we've got a huge schedule planned, St. Patrick's Day Festival, which will be the second time we've done it this, uh, in the Woodlands. Uh, another, you know, first type of event in the Woodlands, the St. Patrick's Day Festival, family friendly. It's got all your St. Patrick's Day stuff, the green beer, uh, dressing in green, uh, bagpipers, Irish dancers, uh, rock music. Uh, it's, it's a really good time. Uh, and then our next event after that is a first time event. It's a tribute to the Woodlands Music Festival. Um, we were talking forever about putting on a big music festival and, you know, it costs a lot of money to bring in like the big talent, uh, the big artists. So we were like, well, why don't we, you know, get some music that everybody knows uh, and get a full lineup of cover bands, you know, for the Woodlands type of uh, demographic. So we've got the Beatles, we've got CCR, Van Halen, uh, who else? Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac uh, all kinds of cover bands from all like the classics. Uh, from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, so that's going to be a huge event. We're really excited about that one as well. Yeah, we, you know, Woodlands does so many one night events uh, over at Hughes Landing or over at North Shore Park or over at Market Street um, where they'll bring in one or two acts, cover band acts, and every single one of them is a, is a major turnout. And so we say, well, let's make it an all day event and let the entire family come out and incorporate the kids fest incorporate the kids activities and the food trucks and because you don't really have too many food trucks at North Shore Park or over at Market Street now, nowadays and so uh, we said let's just make it a full day-long event and uh, it was scheduled last year for September 16th but because of Hurricane Harvey we had to postpone it and um, we've had a tremendous success with that event sold a lot of tickets and looking forward to it. we got some surprises in store at that event so come on out um then that leads us into may may is our texas taco tequila and margarita festival that's on may 5th cinco de mayo this year so last year we did the event twice um, on june 10th in old town spring and in conroe on august 19th and both of those were tremendous turnouts. Uh, the one on June 10th, we had over 25,000 people and lots of food trucks and food vendors had their record day sales. So uh, we'll have carnival rides at that event, mariachi, reggaeton, um, food trucks, plenty of food, margaritas, tequila shots, um, cerveza, modelo. So um, that, that one's one that we're really excited about because it's on Cinco de Mayo this year, which is a Saturday, and that is from noon to midnight. Following that one up, uh, we've actually got three events in May. Uh, the next weekend will be Tex Fest, which is in downtown Houston on May 12th, uh, which is a third year event. Uh, it's actually our first year being involved with it, but it's everything Texas from Texas music, Texas food, uh, Texas vendors, just highlighting everything there is that's great about Texas. Uh, it'll be downtown Houston. Um, and then the weekend after that, May 19th, we'll have our second Beyond the Pints Craft Beer and Music Festival, which is highlighting everything about craft beer. Uh, we had it last year. We had over 40 breweries participate. Uh, there was all kinds of, you know, different craft beers. We had one-off brews that uh, certain breweries brewed just for the festival. Uh, we have a full day of music, and it's a, again, all of our events are kid-friendly, so uh, kids 12 and under are free. They can come out and play on rides and inflatables and everything like that for free. Uh, so it's another one that we're really excited about. And that happens to be on the same day that Kendrick Lamar is performing. So that event goes from 1 to 7, but we're talking about leaving the doors open and uh, jamming out to some Kendrick Lamar while drinking some craft beer. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, yeah. then, then we have June 9th. June 9th is uh, Texas Throwdown and Burger Bash. That's over at Town Green Park. Um, be, it's a third year festival. Uh, we actually got involved with that as well. Um, we'll bring, be showcasing all the great burgers. There's a burger competition, um, cold beer, live music, fun for the entire family as well. Then we have July 21st, which will be our Texas Taco Tequila Margarita Festival, uh, the Woodlands edition. So we've done it in spring. Uh, this year will be the second year in spring. Uh, and then we also did in Conroe, as Trey said last year, but this will be the first time doing it in the Woodlands. 
So we're really excited to see, uh, you know, the Woodlands response to the Texas Taco Tequila Margarita Festival, which is, as Trey said, tons of tacos, tequila, margaritas, uh, you know, beer, Latin music, salsa, um, just a really good time. So. Yeah, and last year we initially had it planned for the Woodlands, but because of the amount of tickets that we pre-sold, the Woodlands said we could not have it there. So it will be a limited amount of ticket sales at that event. So when we release those tickets, be sure to get them early. September 8th, we'll be bringing the Texas Taco Tequila Margarita Festival back to Conroe, downtown at Heritage Park. Uh, we had an amazing turnout there last year. It was uh, we had it in August last year, so it was like 110 degrees, so we still brought nearly 20,000 people out to that event. So we're hoping this year, September, it's a little bit cooler. Uh, we're going to run it a little bit later uh, this year into the night so that, you know, once the sun goes down, people can continue to party on. So uh, look out for that event as well, coming to Conrad. Yep, and we have two in September. The next one is September 29th, Woodlands Oktoberfest. Um, Woodlands Oktoberfest is a first year event. We'll be having German beer, we'll have pretzels, we'll have strudels, <laughs> we'll have, uh, you know, come, come dress to impress because we might throw in some competitions of some short, uh, uh, like a best dress competition or something. You never know what, what we'll have in store for you. We, we kind of, we, we plan everything pre festival, but you know, leading up to the festival, we might have some ideas that pop into our head and we want to keep you guys entertained. And so um, incorporating different aspects of every event is something that we love to do. So bratwurst at that event too. We're going to be throwing a lot of bratwurst, sauerkraut, <laughs> all the Oktoberfest favorites. So October 27th is the third annual Truck or Treat Halloween themed food truck festival. Last year we did it at Town, or two years ago we did it at Town Green Park. Last year we did it in Conroe, and this year we're moving it back to the Woodlands. Um, it basically just a showcase of all the local food vendors, food trucks. We have a Halloween contest for kids. Last year we had a pretty awesome, unique winner. They dressed up as um, uh, it. Wasn't it? It, <laughs> it, had so. it and Jason, and it, it was an awesome uh, winner last year, and so. Um, we're looking forward to that because that's free for all kids as well. And trick or treating, we, we bring in pallets of candy. And so you, you bring in your bucket and we will fill it up with plenty of candy. December 15th, we're bringing back the Holly Jolly uh, Food Truck Festival, which is a Christmas themed food truck festival. Uh, like Trey said, two years ago, we did it in Conroe on the coldest day of the year. Decided not to do it last year because we were scared of uh, the weather again, and then it ended up being like really warm in December last year. So we're like, all right, we're gonna do it this year. Uh, so we got it scheduled December fifteenth at Town Green Park. Uh, will be, you know, everything Christmas. Will be, you know, the uh, Nutcracker Market type uh, type vendors, uh, pictures with Santa, obviously food trucks, kids zone, uh, drinks, live music. So it's gonna be a really good one as well. So one thing that we love to do at our events is give back. So we every one of our events is tied uh, involved with a nonprofit. Uh, each one has been different. Uh, we always give back to that nonprofit, whether it's a monetary donation or a portion of ticket sales. Um, you know, we we understand that we have a platform with a lot of people, and uh, we can help these nonprofits gain a lot of exposure and donations. Uh, so we, you know, we use that platform, and we we want to help, uh, you know, give back to worthy causes. So we've given back to uh, Serving Veterans, which is a, a veterans organization that uh, gives free services to veterans of uh, all sorts. Um, We've given back to the Bruce Cat Memorial Animal Fund. Uh, we've given back to Fearless Boxing, uh, the Friends of Conroe, and uh, St. Isidore Abundant Harvest Food Truck. We have some in store this year, so we'd like to we'd like to partner with a different nonprofit for each event. So, um, with the event coming up in. March, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day is St. Baldrick's, which is uh, the Kiwanis Club. Um, and we're going to be giving back to them um, on March 31st. It is actually Brain Injury Awareness Month. And we're going to be partnering with Memorial Herman Tier of the Woodlands. 
Um, May 5th, we're looking at partnering with LLS for one of our team members, Blair Atkins, who's raising money for his great cause. So we like to be different uh, with everything we do. Um, there's a lot of events going on, a lot of people going to a lot of these events. And one thing that we like to do at all of our events is allow people to get in for free that are helping out within the community. So all kids 12 and under are free to all of our events. Um, teachers, first responders, military, veterans, all, they're all free. All they do is walk in with their walk up to the uh, gate with their ID, show us an ID, and they walk in the gate. Um, now, after they get in, they'll have to pay for food and drinks, but they're getting in free entry. Uh, another unique thing that we're bringing to all of our events this year is a themed photo area. So each event is has a different theme. It's going to have a different themed photo area for families and friends to take pictures, to post on social media, and to uh, to really get festive. We like to work with a lot of local companies and corporations. So if you're a company that's looking to get raise brand awareness or um, get exposure to attendees, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we, we don't like to work with the same vendor every single event. We like to mix up food vendors. We like to mix up artisan vendors. We mix up the nonprofits. So if you're interested in being a part of our event, please email us at info at inspireprod.com. Yeah, you can, uh, you can hit our website, it's inspireprod.com. That's where you can see all of our upcoming events. You can apply to be a vendor, you can apply to be a volunteer, uh, you can apply to be a, a music, music uh, you can apply to be a musician at one of our events. Um, and then follow us on Facebook. It's at Inspire Productions LLC, also the same on Instagram. That's where you're gonna get all the updates uh, we post two, three times a day on all the, the pages and events that we have going on with event info, giveaways. We've given away some uh, Monster Jam tickets, Houston Rockets floor seats, uh, and we've got a couple new giveaways in store that we're, that we're about to uh, release. So follow us on Facebook. We're always looking for volunteers as well. If you come out and volunteer, you get free tickets to the event, you get a festival t-shirt, and you get fed at the event. Be sure to check out our social media platforms and our website because 2018 is going to be an experience to remember.